Brightest blessings, everybody. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess here. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel. For those of you who are new to the channel and you just clicked on this, uh, welcome. Um, I am Elizabeth. I am a divine channeler, a medium, a remote spirit extractor specialist, as well as a divine twin flame on the journey to manifested union, which has been unfolding now. And it's been a pleasure being on here on YouTube. It's something that I've never, ever imagined I would be doing. Um, but I am really grateful for it. And I'm just really happy to be able to share my abilities with others. Also be able to share some of the things that have helped me on my journey. And um, I'm really so glad I've been getting all the, the positive feedback that I have from people and how everything has been really resonating with you the videos have been resonating the information has been helping you to understand your journey better um, perhaps inspire you or help you out in some sort of area of your life where maybe you were just missing a piece and you know watched a video and something just made sense to you and um, I'm really really happy about that and so very blessed to have this mission um, I first want to just start out by, by saying that um, I, I'm getting the sense that there's, there are people out there who are very, very frustrated for those who are on the Twin Flame journey in particular, are frustrated with the journey at this point. Um, and to those people, if you are one of those people who are watching this video, I'm hoping that the messages that are going to be coming out today will be helping you and you know just maybe rethinking some things and maybe going back into your space and um, you know maybe just having a meditation session and you know connecting with your own team as to where you are now and not only just where are you are where you are now but what has the entire journey um, taught you how have you grown from it because um, I'm getting a really big sense from my team and especially Archangel Michael um, who has a couple of strong messages I know that he wants to share today that you know some people out there are, are having some trouble um, still still kind of staying committed and then not really seeing the physical results yet of their unions and you know these are things that take time these are things that um, we have to be able to best work with the energies that be to work with what we have now. Um, so some of the messages that I'm going to share, um, I really feel is like kind of like a step back now into ourselves and to take a whole big overall look at the journey and, and everything we've been through with it and to really get that higher perspective of everything because we have a lot of changes going on now and of course the other video that I did last week's about the 555 major changes this is still going on and we have a major portal that's coming up midsummer coming up you know the summer solstice the 21st of June uh, and this is going to be a huge 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 portal so if you have watched other twin flame videos on this subject um, I'm sure that they're probably agreeing with that that this portal is certainly going to be a huge huge push a push for what you may ask at this point because some of you may be a little frustrated as to what's happening or not happening right now and, and your pop, some of you may be going all right enough I just don't know anymore I don't see the results of all my healing work and I'm not really sure anymore and this is causing me nothing but pain and suffering and all these different things that, that I hear from people. Um, I'm hoping that those of you out there are going to maybe take another look at everything and, and step back and just breathe and really look at everything that you've been through and the things that you've ended up learning about yourself. I'm getting this is a really reflect it's a time of major change absolutely but at the same token um, Michael had come in with some messages about commitment so and that's really really important and also not only commitment but Archangel Michael who I have in my corner all the time he's always in my corner <laughs> I do a lot of my work with him um, most of my work to be honest with you everything from my channeling work to my extraction work and he's always here and I, I lit his blue candle of truth here 
And Michael is always about, you know, reinstalling the truth within us, reminding us of truth, having us live our truth, helping us to see the truth in others, helping us to bring the truth to, to the earth. And, um, you know, it's really, really important that we step back and we're able to perceive the truth again. Um, actually, I just want to not forget this, but if you are new watching this video and you are new to Inflame, we have a lot of people who are searching for information, uh, curious about things, uh, not really knowing what this journey is about quite yet, but you're kind of just looking around for things. Um, if you are interested in a video that will really just help clarify things for you about a, a twin flame and how to recognize if you're a twin flame and some of the experiences that are definitely well known to the twin flame journey, I highly recommend the twin flame recognition video that I did on the channel. I also have a twin flame communication on there as well, but I definitely recommend the twin flame recognition video to start out with. I really feel that, um, this video that I put out is really going to be helpful to people who are just looking for concrete, direct answers as to what this is, why it is, and, you know, just have some things validated that maybe, you know, it's not understood yet. So I just want to say that because I'm recognizing that there are a lot of new people who are awakening to the journey. Uh, as far as what is happening right now with, with the energies, we are going through some major, like I said from last week, some major changes. And a lot of these changes are like any big change, right? Uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. And so there are things that are coming up that are going to feel kind of like they're biting us in the ass again, and they are flailing out there, uh, flaring out. Um, and it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to be able to look at these things. But we have this major closure that's happening. You know, we have this solstice happening. You know, it's coming up. Um, we're already within the energy of it. Um, because with portal energies, you're already feeling the energy like a few days even before it. So we are already in it. And anytime we're coming across something like this type of portal, um, it's going to be a closeout, closing the door. Like I had mentioned last week, it's going to be closing the door on so much for us, closing the door on things that have been dragged out that we have been experiencing for a long time. Um, and these things are no longer going to serve us any longer. Okay. They are not going to serve us. So if you are a new twin flame awakening to this and you have been noticing that things are just not fitting you anymore, people are not fitting you, your choices, you feel like you're just not resonating with the choices that you used to. You have been always used to a certain trend. Okay. Ending trends. Uh, that is a big one that's happening. Um, it could be romantic trends. It can be, you know, the, toxic trends regarding the self with the self it could be trends with all types of things from behaviors to uh just our belief systems to our opinion everything uh, belief systems obviously um all types of conditioning all of these things um, when we're changing and we are stepping into our true authentic selves and that's what's happening now um we are absolutely on a new track. There is a new beginning. But in order for there to be a new beginning, we have to close out the old. That's where we're at with the energies, really closing out the old. And uh, Michael wants to remind all of you to really stay committed to yourself. Stay committed to the changes that you're making now. Um, he also wants to remind everyone to be aware of their thoughts. Be aware of the thoughts, how you think of yourself, how you speak the words. Okay, I get this a lot in my channel sessions about the words that we speak about ourselves. Um, also the words that we use in regards to how we judge others um, or how we judge an experience. And the messages here are really to 
see the, the bigger light filled picture of what's happening. Um, but also I'm receiving very much to not, how do I put this? To not shut out the dark in a way where you wish the darkness had never taken place or you're cursing the shadows basically. And I'm getting very strongly. Now is the time to integrate those gifts from the shadow self from your shadow self, from everything that you've learned. If you happen to be someone who's going through a dark night of the soul, uh, and many do go through that when they're going through a very huge spiritual awakening, right? and a lot of times that's associated, it's connected with the twin flame awakening. Okay, I know I've had this too. And it's a very difficult time to go through that, to go through the dark night of the soul. A lot of things just don't make sense anymore. It kind of feels like you're in this void. And you are. It is a void. But the void, even though it can feel so empty and lonely and desolate, the void is also the womb. The void is also where we are to have ourselves basically rebirthed. And it's a transformation. It's a huge initiation. It's a huge transformation. And this is really the, the big stuff that I'm getting now with this portal as far as going through um, a really huge transformation and being able to close out some of those older things. Um, now, the messages also with this that I am receiving are that the shadow self is not something to be ashamed of. It's not something where, you know, some people are just in so much resistance of it. They don't want to even know of the shadow self. They don't want to acknowledge it. Um, they feel like it's their enemy, all these types of things. And now as we're going through these major changes and we're stepping into our true authentic selves, um, it's not about cursing our shadow self. It's not about resisting those things about ourselves, guys, but it's more about integrating everything and recognizing how the shadow self has played such a major role uh, in development for you and how the shadow self has given you gifts to have. So it's not about, you know, resisting that darker side of yourself or resisting the shadows, but understanding how that side, uh, it's, it's a valid expression of our true authentic selves just as, of course, the light. So we have the light, we have the dark, we have the dark, we have the light. We are divine beings, however. But of course, we do have that shadow self. Just as there is day, there is night, right? Black, white, day, night, life, death. Um, it's about the balance. It's about the balance. It's about achieving the balance. And those are the messages that I'm getting strongly now is to be able to achieve that balance and to be able to um, basically take ourselves aside, go into our meditational space, find that peace, that peaceful core within ourselves, and to reflect on everything. Reflect on that. Reflect on even though you know you've had to go through some really toxic things in your life, toxic habits, perhaps addictions, you know, the toxic trends. Um, you've had fallouts with people. You've had fallouts with yourself. Uh, it's truthfully about looking at that and understanding how it's given such wonderful gifts to you. How that shadow self expressed itself. It emerged so that way you could recognize certain things. Uh, and the shadow self does help us. It does help us. So it's not about, you know, let's get rid of all of the shadows. I don't want anything to do with them. But it's more so about being able to be in that higher place where we are understanding that we are love. And we're sending love to that as well. We're sending love to our shadow self. We're sending love to those people who have hurt us. We are sending love to those experiences that have been so uncomfortable. And if we are still currently going through those experiences, we're sending love to those as well. Because the more we are in resistance of that, the more we are denying the very real parts of ourselves. And I'm getting that very, very strongly because we are now stepping into our greatest versions. We are stepping into our higher self. So the higher self work is coming up. 
the higher self is what truly takes place within us so we can have that union, the union with the higher self to make peace with ourselves in all aspects of ourselves, to truthfully see ourselves through a clear lens, to have clarity of self, to be able to accept ourselves and to love everything about ourselves, even the things that are just uncomfortable to love about ourselves, but to do so without judgment. Perception is a big one that's coming up with the messages that I'm getting is to be able to shift our perspective. I've talked about this before, but this is coming up uh, very huge now is to be able to shift that perspective of what we deem as positive and, and negative and to really be able to see it all through a different lens, a higher lens, the higher lens of love basically. It's about perception. It's about how we are thinking about things, how we're seeing things. How are we choosing to see them? How are we choosing to see ourselves? How are we choosing to see our beloved counterparts? How are we choosing to see this situation? Archangel Michael's message regarding this is that he wants everyone to know and I have to tell you that in my sessions, I have been getting this a lot, it comes up all the time, is that all aspects of your union are being taken care of. Okay, you are putting those prayer requests out there. Archangel Michael, your team, they are receiving those requests. They are acting upon those requests. So how are you perceiving that? Are you perceiving it because you are not seeing it in the physical quite yet that it's just not happening and what's happening and maybe it's not happening or are you perceiving it as I put my request out I know the divine beings have received it I know they're currently acting on it and giving the best result for all involved and they're taking care of the situation right now and I don't need to worry about it because the really big one now is that and it's actually, it's always been there, but I'm getting it highlighted right now, is to let go of any doubts or fears, any lingering ones. I read for a lot of people, uh, and they've told me I have done so much work on this particular issue. I thought I've released such and such, and I thought I was done with it. And I, hey, I've been there too, and I'm currently experiencing some challenges myself. And I'm always honest about that because I'm on the journey just like you are and you know we can do a lot of clearing and still have some of these things still come up at the very bottom and those usually it's usually those very little small lingering doubts and fears that are just on the bottom and we somehow do we just dip back into them and something just triggers us and lo and behold those doubts and fears just kind of come up and we thought they weren't there any longer that we did all the work and we were finished with it and it's really the time to close out those deep those fears and those doubts now so if you even have a little smidgen of a doubt um, you know that could absolutely set up a blockage with the prayer request that you're putting out to please assist me on my journey with my divine purpose and my twin flame journey please assist my beloved protect them uh, please help them to remember, help them to, you know, grow and awaken in the ways which are in the highest ways for them. Um, you know, whatever request that you're putting out to assist your beloved, all of those things, you have to remember that you don't want to do so with having any lingering doubts or any lingering fears for the best result. You want to be able to let all of that go and to be able to surrender. And Michael wants everyone to absolutely know right now to let go of all your doubts, all your fears, anything and everything, and to be able to absolutely trust that your requests and your situation is being addressed. But you have to allow them. You have to allow them. It's, it's really very important to be able to surrender, to detach from the outcomes. Now I'm getting is a really strong time to really work with your own higher self. 
I have mentioned this before, um, but it's really crucial that we don't, as twin flames, if you're a twin flame watching, which so many are, um, to not fall into the trap of getting uh, in desperation mode again because it's been a long while since you've received responses, since you've had communication, and you're not quite seeing anything manifest in the physical yet. And it's really important to not fall into this desperation mode and when you do to catch yourself and to be able to find your peace again and to change your perception. It's very important to, to really cultivate peace every day, every single day and to connect with your own higher self very, very strongly. I have done this and it's, it has helped me and I'm turning to it again. I've done a dream board of my higher self. And this might be something that might resonate with some of you out there. Um, I've also done meditations with my higher self and it's really truthfully about honoring the, the majesty of you, honoring this incredible, vast, limitless divine being of you and being able to see yourself, there's the lens again, through the lens of love, to be able to perceive yourself in such a way. And if it is almost impossible for you to do that at this point, then it's not time for Twin Flame Union quite yet. You're on the road too, of course, and everything's unfolding, but it's a very, very crucial part of the journey. Um, to be able to become unified with your higher self. And we get caught up, you know, in so many judgments of ourselves here, of course, on earth, and we get caught up in, um, you know, just our ego, our ego. Um, but it's now time for us to really recognize ourselves as the, the beauty and the peace and the empowerment, just the vast, beautiful energy that you are you know, all, all those wonderful things about yourself, really concentrating on your, your heart and your soul. Because we're in these bodies, but we're not in them for long. It is literally, it's like a second. We're a drop in a huge ocean, guys, a drop in a huge ocean. And we get caught up. We get caught up in so many ego thoughts that just disconnect us from recognizing our higher self, our best version, and stepping into that. So a dream board may be really helpful in that way. You know, you might want to cut out pictures of things that all just really represent your soul that you resonate with, whether, whether it be, you know, creative things, that you're into the, the arts, um, you know, if you're into just beautiful divine ceremonies, uh, spirituality, of course, um, all the things about you. All the beautiful things about you. And I really urge you, you know, this solstice to fall in love with yourself, basically. You know, it's it's midsummer after the old Celtic Celtic tradition, the wheel of the year would be called Litha, uh, midsummer night. It's all always about the traditional uh, love there. It's about the about love. It's about the sun, it's about the light, it's about bringing life, the life force. Um, the love has to be with, with you, the, you, it's about really connecting with yourself and falling in love with yourself first. And if, if many of you out there right now have not accomplished that yet, if you've been struggling with that, then it's the perfect time to be able to really step into that and everything else, just trust that with your prayers, it's being addressed. Your beloved's being taken care of. They are going through their own transformation. They are noticing their own synchronicities. They are noticing it. They are noticing the things are changing for them. They are gravitating towards different things. They are ending their old patterns, their toxic relationships, uh, karma. All of these things are ending for them. Everything is in preparation. But it's really, really important to be able to connect with your higher self and to integrate everything, everything that you've learned on your journey. So I really urge you guys to take a look back at your life. Um, take a look back at everything, even the hard things, the things that you feel like, oh, I wish maybe they never happened if you do wish that. Um, and maybe you want to think about why. Why do you feel that way? 
Because I have to tell you that some of the most difficult obstacles in my life, um, they have made me. Those, those shadow experiences, those dark times, they've made me. And I always say that you have to be broken in order to be made. Because, you know, it, it ends up really proving to you your strength. It really shows you how much reserve you have. And it just really gets you to stop and step aside and, and rethink about things, you know, rethink your life. And when you go through tough experiences or you've been hurt and you go through pain and you're able to find your light, you're able to find strength, you know, you find the strength that you never thought you had. You find the light that you never thought you had. And I know when I went through bad experiences, it was one of the main factors that really got me to get into spirituality, such as Wicca. Um, and it's, it was just really a beautiful time for me um, to explore myself, to explore ceremony, to explore divinity, to really connect with nature, the nature of me, the nature all around me, the, the oneness. I mean, that was my my particular thing, my experience. And I know that if I didn't go through, um, and I'm not saying that I've used anything as a crutch. I mean, it, it wasn't that. It was just a natural progression of that, you know, I went through these really tough times, really hard times. And within my solitude, I was able to really explore my solitude and explore other things in my solitude. And that's why, you know, solitude can be a beautiful thing. You know, a lot of people get re really upset about that and consider that, oh my gosh, again, it's about perception. I don't want to be alone anymore. It sucks being alone. I hate being alone. I'm miserable being alone and all these things. But again, it's not about cursing the darkness because there's so many wonderful gifts that can come out of the darkness, come out of the void, come out of the silence, come out of the solitude. And those are the things that are coming up energetically now to reflect upon and to take those things and to just integrate everything into a whole, put it all together. You don't have to judge. You don't have to cut off any parts. Um, really recognize how everything has come together for you and how everything made sense. Self-realization, that's the way. The self-realization is, is the way. It's, it's understanding who we are in all our aspects. The light, the dark. The day, the night. The shadow, the light. Understanding it all and understanding that all of it had its place. And that is really someone who has grown into, into wisdom and someone who is on the path to self-mastery, to be able to recognize all of that, to perceive all of that. So I want you to think about that. Other messages. Um, it's just really, really important to stay within the moment. Stay within the moment, stay within yourself, stay grounded with everything. We have a lot of synchronicities coming up. We have a lot of number combinations. We have a lot of things happening. And it's, it's kind of feeling like rushed and like a whirlwind. And um, stay ground as much as you can and be able to, you know, get out into nature and to really connect, really connect with nature, connect with your body, connect with your breath, connect with yourself and allow for the twin flame connection to just take its course naturally. Um, there's nothing to worry about. Again, it's about releasing the worries and Archangel Michael really says this very, very strongly is to let go of any worries or any doubts and please understand that the situation is being taken care of. So make sure with my notes that I got everything that I wanted to hear. Um, I think I pretty much did. Um, really the last thing that I want to remind everyone and coming up to is the favorable outcome of your events, um, favorable outcome for you personally, favorable outcome for a manifested union with your beloved. To focus on that, that it will be, and it actually it is, rather than it, it is, it is a favorable outcome. 
it's being it's being designed it's being designed and the best way we can support that with this solstice energy coming up now is really to let go of anything that's inauthentic to us release everything that's not in the hot for the highest good of us but also at the same time to make peace with all aspects of ourselves make peace of with all events because peace really is the key to liberating ourselves to feeling free from the burden to feel peace is really really important peaceful within your own skin peaceful within your day you know being peaceful up here and in here is so so important it's a major step um, and if, if these are things that you haven't achieved yet, then, you know, it's not quite time for the manifested union yet. We still have some triggers that are coming up. They are still coming up. Um, your counterpart may be triggering you here and there, uh, helping you to recognize, again, some of those things that are up for release right now for you. And to just understand that we are at this point now where we are getting all of these these things out so that way we can achieve peace throughout our days sustain it as much as possible uh, the past we're making peace with the past peace is a big word that's coming up now from my team it's about being be able to be at peace with yourself with the now with the situation with your twin where they are even if you're not in connection with them physically I mean being at peace with with all being at peace with your place in the world being at peace if things did not go in the way that you expected them to remember not to expect not to assume but to just be open to new possibilities and open to you know positive things knowing that a positive outcome will happen. Focus on that. Focus on that. Put the energy towards positive outcomes. Positive connections with people. Positive experiences. Perception. Perception is key. So those are the two big words that I'm getting right now for everyone. So the messages as far as, you know, the, the peace with yourself peace with your higher self, the peace with all the events and everything that's transpired in your life, and to be able to choose the higher perspective, the greater and grander perspective, and of course to stay committed, stay committed, because things are absolutely happening, and they are happening in huge, huge ways. Um, and although you may not be able to see this yet, it is happening. And I say this all the time, and I will say it a zillion times. It is absolutely unfolding and unfolds with divine timing, divine orchestration. But the, the best thing that we can do is to be within our bodies, let our souls shine, let our hearts shine through, and to not resist any and all things about us that make us who we are and that includes the shadows as well guys i know you know there's some there are some people out there that don't want to i don't want to talk about the shadows I don't want, but we don't want to like cut off our limb we, we want to be able to send love to everything integrate all of it recognize the transformation, recognize the gifts and everything. Claim it all, basically. Um, it's really time, and that's going to bring a lot of peace, a lot more ease, um, a lot more recognition of certain parts of ourselves that have maybe were dormant, parts that we didn't recognize, parts that were not brought to the light. And that's the beautiful thing about meditation. That's the beautiful thing about that because that's the time when we're able to review things and um, quiet our minds, 
step away from technology, step away from the distractions, and really go within without resistance and see what's happening there and being able to send the love there. And you can do the same for your beloved too, to, you know, all those different parts about them. So if, if you have recognized absolutely their shadows, you recognize those dark parts about them, instead of getting angry about it or judgmental about it, just send, send all of those parts love for your twin too. So that way they can integrate everything. Of course, they release what's not in the highest good for them, but they're able to take everything and put it all together and make sense of everything and, and recognize who they are authentically. And for you, that's your work too, is recognizing who you are authentically. Higher self meditation would be a great idea. Fall in love with yourself. I know, you know, so many twin flames out there, they get, you know, very excited. And I understand this totally about connecting with your twin in a telepathic way, in a higher self way, and having those beautiful adventures. And it's just, you're feeling like, oh, you're on cloud nine, you know, when you're with your twin. And how we perceive our counterparts, right? But what if you could perceive yourself that way and take a beautiful journey, spiritual journey with your own higher self. What would your higher self be like? What would your higher self show you? What would your true authentic self want you to know about who you truly are? Can you even perceive of your higher self? Can you, can you even perceive of your heart? Can you see yourself in that light to fall in love with yourself? And just be like, wow, I'm incredible. I, I have a light and a love and a beauty about me that I just, I just can't stop thinking about. You know, the same way you're thinking about your counterpart, right? Remember, they're you. They're the mirror of you. And the ultimate way of attracting everything back into one, into unity, is you being in alignment with you. You being in love with yourself. And not in a narcissistic way. In, in a beautiful, authentic way of loving yourself, honoring yourself, recognizing just how vast and beautiful and special and incredible you are. Because I guarantee that you have gone through your life feeling very left out, very lonely, very isolated, very different, and then hence judgments, maybe judgments from other people in your childhood, judgments from ex-romantic partners, you passing to so many criticisms and judgments on yourself. So it's kind of hard to, you know, unwire what we've wired so tightly, right, with the ego. But I, I really do think it, this is the perfect time. And these are the messages that I'm really strong with getting from my team is the Make that connection with your higher self and really explore it. If, and if it's going to take a dream board, if it's going to take a meditation, if it's going to take, you know, uh, you know, a trip down memory, memory lane and recognizing all the different things about yourself and what did you miss along the way, what maybe you did not pay enough attention to or give yourself enough credit for, how, how you um, really impact people's lives in a wonderful way. Now's the time to really do that and step into that. That's the key to, to everything. Um, the truth, the truth of the self. And this is happening for your beloved as well as far as um, having the truth of their selves emerge. And anything that's not going to match that will drop away. And the solstice is really going to enforce the truth, the truth, the truth, Archangel Michael swore in the truth. So I hope that this has resonated. Um, there's just so many things that, you know, we, we could talk about with that. But I, I really like with my videos, I try to um, 
put the inspirations out there as much as possible and allow you to explore that and you know some things to think about and meditate on um, and just leaving you with that the divine is on your side this journey if you are on a twin flame journey this has not been <laughs> given to you so that way it's a torture device uh, it's just nothing but pain and, and you just can't take any more and there's nothing but pain that's all it's ever going to be and unity is something that only happens to some people if they're lucky it, that's all a perception that's all a perception so Archangel Michael is urging everyone to be able to understand that their perceptions are so much energy it, it has so much to do with the events that unfold so it's up to us to really stay committed stay committed and commitment is what definitely Archangel Michael is, uh, is about so I'm wishing you really beautiful moments with your own higher self you may even want to write a list of all the qualities that you love about yourself the things that have been really difficult as far as your own shadows you might want to take a second look at those and yes we are releasing but you might want to write down how has this painful experience assisted me with my growth how, how has this helped develop me what were the gifts in this experience or some of the things that you felt were um, bad habits or um, you know less than what you would figure you know say to be is a desirable um, trait of yourself a personality trait perhaps take a, take another look at those things is it all that bad or has some of those traits or those experiences really played integral parts on the journey and helped you to become you so um, sending love to those those things really great really great time to do that as we become our authentic selves wishing you guys the best remember from the heart of the darkness is born the light wishing you guys fantastic transformations um, the solstice is going to be a great one it's going to be a great one just hold on to yourself stay committed and know that all good things are here I'm here for reading sessions so you can connect with me on the paranormalpriestess.com I just ask that you give me a little bit of time um, it's it's been a little bit rough for me to get back to people um, very quickly because I have you know a lot of inquiries I also have my own journey I have my own um, balance to attend to which I know that's something that I had to do so um, it may be a few days or so before I'm able to get back to you but I certainly will I'll let you know if we are a vibrational match if it's guided and if so I would love to do a channeled session with you and speak to your spiritual team bring them through seeing, seeing what would help you what's going currently going on with, on your journey um, always wonderful sessions and there's always so much that comes out of them um, the remote spirit extractions um, I've been booked with those but I'm here um, I could always look into your situation and let you know if I can move forward with that and if not you know what would be preventing me from stepping in and I'll give you all the tools to be able to um, work on that until I'm able to get to you and that work has been really helping people as far as removing any type of lower interferences so I'm really grateful to do that. So this is a lot of my plate. You know, I have the channeling and I have the extractions. I have my own uh, twin flame journey. So I'm, obviously, you know, <laughs> as an authentic twin, I'm going through a lot. And I always, I'm, I'm always uh, honest. But um, doing the best I can. Love being there for you guys. And um, would love to meet, you know, new people and be able to, you know, offer my abilities and, and my guidance as well. So. Thank you everyone who has subscribed and if you are interested in subscribing I'd love to have you as a subscriber and um, it's just a really beautiful community and I'm so very happy to be here. Take care everyone.
Love you guys. Brightest blessings. Take care.